So let me start off with uh, a very one of the basic questions that I talked to about before, which is, you know, if I'm trying to uh, move into a new house, or say I'm a college student that has uh, just moved into their dorm room, and I want to put up some curtains to uh, make the place a little bit nicer, but I want to know how tall the ceiling is. Now, if I do it traditionally, I have to get a tape measure or potentially even a ladder and climb up to figure out the distance between the floor and the ceiling. But with a Project Tango device, uh, what I can simply do is use the sensors built into it and actually simply do a measurement. I can say, well, how tall is this roof? I just tap. It leaves a little yellow marker on the ceiling. And then I click on the ground. And it tells me that it's 9 feet 5 inches tall. Um, if I want to actually say uh, measure the carpet, or I want to figure out how big this, this area rug is, I simply do the same thing. I click on the point here, whoops, point here, walk over here, over here, and I'm just tapping on the screen, telling the camera to measure the point that I'm looking at, okay. right. and it tells me it's about, nine, about nine, in, 9 feet 7 inches that way, and 7 feet 6 inches that way. Uh, let me do like one more measurement, which is uh, figuring out, say, the area of, a, of an environment. So if I if I pick another poster, I can simply close off the square, and it actually tells me the total area of the environment of this area I just marked off, which is two feet squared. So now that I've actually measured my space, let's actually go shopping for some furniture. So let's. Uh, it's a new room, it's empty. Um, let's figure out if uh, the, sofa, the sofa that I want to buy is uh, going to actually fit in the room. So uh, this is a program by a company called Elementals. Uh, it's it's uh, one of the partners that we started working with to develop Project Tango apps. Um, and what it does is it gives us a small library of items that we can place in this environment. So if I want to see if let's, uh, let's see how many sofa sections we can actually fit in this part of the stage. So what I can do is I simply tap on it and drag it to the screen, like this. I can rotate it and reposition it. And if I'm going to try to extend the size of the couch, I simply drag another section off and it'll snap. And you can see about how much clearance we have on this part of the wall. We can see uh, whether, how far it sticks out from the stage. But brown isn't a really particularly good color. So let's actually um, uh, spruce it up just a little bit uh, and sort of add a flower arrangement like that. Now that I'm done with my living room, let's do something uh, uh, in the kitchen space. So one of the other partners we've started working with is Lowe's. Uh, and Lowe's has a tremendously large library of appliances uh, for its customers, the refrigerators, the washing machines, um, and the stove ranges. So we can do the exact same thing with the fridge as well. So let's try to place one and put it right here. And what's interesting is that it knows the scale of the space. I place the refrigerator down and it keeps it on the ground right in the corner. And if I go up and I look at this particular uh, Whirlpool fridge, I can look at the panel and actually see the different options on this particular fridge model. And it looks like it has both crushed and cubed ice. Um, <laughs> It also has this other neat feature, which is a measured fill. So I can put in a small cup or a big cup, and it'll automatically fill it to the level. So that's kind of a neat thing about this fridge. Um, and I can actually see if the space in front of the fridge will leave enough room if I open the doors, and I can still get in front of it. So this allows someone to compare different products all in the space that they would actually be installed. If you want to learn a little bit more about Elementals or uh, Lowe's, we have a partnership uh, over here. You can raise your hand, Kyle and Victor. Um, so they've been working on this uh, with us, and we hope to uh, continue maturing this app in this whole category of personal shopping on the device. Now, I those were just a couple of really quick snacks uh, or sound or uh, test clips of things you can do. But I want to show you a little bit of 
what's going on underneath the hood. So we have this uh, application called Constructor. Uh, and this actually allows me to build a full 3D model of the space. Stream distance points to uh, everything in the surface. And I simply hold it up and I look around kind of like a magic flashlight. So what it's doing is that it's taking the tracking data, the depth sensing data, and combining it all into this persistent 3D model. Now what's neat about it is that I can transition to a third person view, like this. I'll even scan some of you guys, I guess. So uh, this is the raw data. And you can actually see I've just transitioned to a top-down view of the stage. You can see uh, this back wall, the side wall, and the curvature of that column. Uh, you can also see uh, the position of the tablet inside the space. So if I walk back to this, the back part of the stage, it knows exactly where I am on the stage to centimeter level accuracy in real time. Now, this is not something a, a consumer would likely use on a frequent basis, but in a professional case, uh, such as site inspection or uh, real estate or room planning, uh, essentially I now have a 3D model of this space that I can import into my tools. So the guys laying out this stage knows exactly the distance between that wall and this wall, and they can prepare all the equipment in advance just by walking around as I do. Now, something uh, going back to uh, the a more um, uh, uh, family use case, I want to introduce you to uh, a couple of little friends I have. So, this is Gray. Uh, Gray is a, a, a little kitten. Come on, Gray. Come here. <laughs> so what I can do is I, I can just walk around the room and Gray will follow me. Come on, hey, you can do it. Hey, Gray. Uh, but what's also really neat is that since we have all of this information about the space around us, uh, Gray also knows about the furniture. Oh. oh, come on, Gray. You can jump down. Maybe you'll come on this one. So he can respond to the different tables, the floors, the walls, and we can uh, give him a, a, a run around the house and, and play games with him. Uh, we have a couple other friends. This is uh, Rufus. Hey, Rufus. Rufus is a little bit big. And we have marbles. So this is just a very simple test app. But you can imagine with a, a more work with our partners and developing this further, uh, these characters can become much more uh, interactive and much more aware of their environment. And so this creates a sort of new genre of games that weren't possible before. <coughs> now for this last demo, I want to invite uh, a friend on stage, uh, Kate. She will? Uh, okay. So this is a, a two-player game. Uh, developed by one of the other app partners that we engaged with recently at one of our games workshops uh, from Shell Games. And this is basically Tango-enabled Jenga. So if I point at the table, we can capture the surface of the table, and can, we can actually start playing uh, a digital version of Jenga. So, are you ready to play? All right. So I'm going to lean forward, get up close to the tower, grab a piece, and the shadow sort of helps me or gives me a suggestion on where I should drop it. So now I'll hand it to Kate. I saw Kate practicing a lot right before the show. Uh, so she's actually quite developed a much more sophisticated technique than I have already. All right. Let's make it a little bit tougher and take this one out. It's suggesting that I should go this way. Let's do this one. Uh, okay. I think 
if I put it on this side, it'll be harder to get. Let's try to put it down. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> All right, I was trying to be a little bit too aggressive there.